Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne and I just watched Squirm. And I think I watched it on Prime. It's also available on Tubi if you don't have Prime. It is definitely a creature feature movie as it features a crap ton of worms. So as someone that's really not a big fan of bugs, this was a treat. It centers in a small rural town in Georgia where a girl is very eagerly awaiting the arrival of a gentleman friend that she just made at a conference who will be spending, I think, a long weekend maybe with her. They're going to go fishing, have some fun. Her family's a little weird. It seems that her father has recently passed and mom is not dealing well with that. And her sister's kind of that like younger punk sister that just kind of does everything against what her mom says. At least that's the impression I get. There's also uh, Roger, who is kind of the neighborhood weirdo. He and his dad own a worm farm, which that's got to smell great. And he is completely in love with this girl, and I am completely blanking on her name right now. So, a freak accident during an electrical storm, I think lightning strikes a transformer or something and it shoots a whole bunch of electricity into the ground, which of course makes these worms incredibly agitated and they just want to eat everything and fuck shit up and knock trees down and stuff. So boy finally gets to the home of the, the girl and weird mom and punk ass sister meets Roger. Things don't go well. You kind of get that he wants this dude back in New York. He doesn't want him around. As uh, the new couple are hanging out, they come upon a skeleton while trying to go to a guy's house who has a lot of auctions and kind of is an antique dealer. Go to the sheriff, come back. Of course, the skeleton's gone. All while there's just worms everywhere and Possibly eating people, possibly cause that skeleton. Who knows? Maybe someone else is killing people. You'll have to watch to find out because I will leave it there as this is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? Um, I like creature features, but I don't, I don't know how I feel about these worms. I mean, they were really gross, so I appreciate that it grossed me out. I liked that there were some comedic elements to the movie, which were needed. I'm just going to move on to my dislikes. Oh no, likes. I liked, um, there is a scene pretty close to the end where there's kind of like a, a half worm ridden man attacking other people, which was pretty cool. I thought that the use of practical effects, of course, as this is an older movie was pretty great because I love practical effects but my dislikes when they would do tight shots of the worms, it sounded like it was a, like a woman screaming, which is very jarring when it just keeps happening over and over again. They uh, show a bunch of worms that have a bunch of tiny little legs on them, which I'm pretty sure are just centipedes and those are disgusting. So, bleh. um, I, I was kind of irritated with the sheriff, like just wouldn't listen to anyone. And he was just that old country douchebag guy. Which, that's totally the part he was be supposed to be playing, so. Yeah. Um, I don't like how cool she was with Roger getting all rapey with her. Like, she was a little too calm about that. But I suppose maybe that's the time. Like, girls were just expected to be like, ha ha ha, it's okay, you tried to kiss me forcibly against my will. That shit won't fly now. Hmm. Um... I think I would rate this like a 1.5 out of 5. I don't think I would watch it again because it, it kind of, it wasn't my cup of tea with the pacing. I felt like there was a lot of stuff that could have been wrapped up a lot quicker. There was a bunch of stuff that just didn't seem necessary to the plot that was put in. They never addressed the fact that when they sit down to eat that the dad's ashes in the urn are sitting on the table, which is weird, I guess. I don't know. But if you knock it over, that would be bad. Bad first impression. But 
Yeah, I mean, have you guys seen this movie? What did you think? Leave me a comment down below or you could tweet it at me. Uh, like the video if you did like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. Hello, cat. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Ray Animator. Also have a podcast channel on iTunes, thanks to the Farsighted Network. Please also check out their content and their creators. And I'm going to squirm my way out of here. See you later, guys.